So basically everything is going back. I'm returning everything. I've got to take apart the cage, the bird cage. That's going to go back. I've got to return all the other stuff that I got for the bird. I'm not going to be getting a bird, you guys. Basically, I was up last night and I was like thinking and I was like... Maybe all this is because I'm not supposed to get a bird. Like maybe it's a blessing in disguise. This is one reason I really, really try not to judge situations as they're arising and try to dis my, disconnect my mind from the upset of a situation not going the way that you want it to go or that I want it to go because oftentimes it's a blessing in disguise. Little blessings are often entering our lives in disguise of big bummers. <laughs> but the bummers are actually blessings. We just don't know at the time. So it's a practice to try and disconnect from those sort of things as they're arising. But anyways, basically my friends, something freaking insane happened and this synchronicity that freaking happened to me last night is gonna blow your mind like i <laughs> i can't even make this stuff up i cannot even make this freaking stuff up and i've got proof i'm gonna freaking show you later but before that happens I'm gonna take apart the cage because you know I put it together and I'm so freaking lucky because basically I would have got rid of the packaging like I got rid of most of it like the stuff inside to keep it safe but I have the broken down cardboard boxes I'll show you where I have them um, I would have put them out to the curb they would be gone but there was no room in the recycling so I just put them there and I'm just so freaking blessed because honestly, like, would they take the cage back if it had no box? And like, where am I gonna find a box that fits that thing? You know what I mean? So I'm just like, huh. So that's going back. All there, I started the Amazon return for the other stuff that I got. That thing is going back to Petco. And that's another thing. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm so glad I brought, bought it from Petco instead of Amazon because I can just take it back to the store, um, any Petco store, instead of returning it via shipping, which because I got rid of all the padding and stuff, I'm like, <laughs> I just love when little things kind of work out, you know what I mean? And you're like, oh, well, thank God that happened because that's happening. Anyhow, so I'm going to be returning all the things. And then the one thing that... I'm concerned about is getting my refund for the deposit from the pet store because it was a non-refundable deposit but because my experience was so negative with the employee maybe they'll kind of want to make it right but basically I started to really I'm like all right I've thought about this before but maybe it's just going to be too much for me because the one thing about getting a bird the size bird that I was gonna get is they go poop like every 10-15 minutes and I was thinking before like can I really handle an animal that goes poop every 10-15 minutes for the next 30 years and I decided yeah I can there's ways to kind of train them to go in specific areas um but then last night I'm like, well, maybe I can't, you know what I mean? Maybe I would get it and it would be too much. And maybe that's why all this is happening. I'm not meant to get the bird. <laughs> oh my God. But then the real thing, I'm leaving you in suspense. I am. I'm leaving you in suspense. You're not going to know what it is till after we return all this stuff. And basically I got to go to a def bunch of different places. So I got to go to Petco to return the big ass cage. I got to go to Whole Foods to return a bunch of the Amazon things, which I don't have to box up for the things. So that's kind of nice. And then I got to go to the UPS store to return that really super cool little bird backpack that is awesome and someone who's getting a bird's gonna just love that thing so first thing we got to take apart the cage you see this this is the boxes for the big cage that I just stuck there because it wouldn't fit and I'm so grateful because now I can return this cage
Isn't it so wild that you can now bring stuff and just return it just like this? Like this is all they need. They box it, they label it. Whole Foods. All right guys, so what I'm about to tell you is freaking mind blowing. I'm saying it's insane, it's crazy. It's like, oh my gosh. Basically, what happened was I started questioning everything. I'm like, well, maybe a bird isn't the right animal for me. And I was like, you know, maybe I should volunteer. I'm actually signed up to be a volunteer for this one animal rescue. It's called Hopalong. And so I was like, I haven't checked in with them for a while. So I went on their website just to like see their animals, see what they have. And this is where the synchronicity, the freaking, this is like, is going to blow your freaking mind this is what i'm saying this stuff is happening to me all the time now anyways i was looking at their animals and they have a freaking dog and guess what the freaking dog's name is i cannot make this shit up all right i took a picture so i can insert it so you can see the freaking evidence they have a dog they're named kashi like what are the odds like are you freaking kidding me <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Not only do they have a dog named Kashi, but they have a dog named Kashi at the particular time that I am looking at the dogs. Like I just, it blew my mind. I cannot even believe it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna take this freaking insane <laughs> synchronicity and just I got up right then and there. I went on, you know, Amazon. I did the returns online. I freaking looked at, okay, can I return this cage to Petco? And I just decided right then and there, I was like, well, I'm just gonna return everything. Like this obviously all happened for a reason. I'm not meant to get a bird. The universe knows much better than I do. There is a serious divine intelligence that like, like even just this plant, how is this even a lot like this one like this one little leaf if you really examined it and like got down on the microscopic level this one little leaf is so freaking mind-boggling we don't even know we don't even know like get down to the cells and like oh it's like one little leaf oh my god we can't fully comprehend one leaf let alone me knowing what's best it's like there is a divine intelligence and <laughs> and uh I, I trust this divine intelligence much more than i trust myself so oftentimes like i was saying there's blessings in disguise of big ass bummers you know what i'm saying because we often don't know what we need and this divine intelligence knows what we need more than we even know what we need so like if you can i don't know just surrender when the bummers happen, it's a practice. Like this is what I'm working on. And I still get bummed out by the bummers. <laughs> but the less and less to get bummed out by the bummers and just be like, dang, this feels like a big bummer. But that's just what I'm feeling in this present moment. It could be secretly a blessing. And then it kind of takes the power away from the bummer a little bit. So you're just in the bummer, but it's like, you're like, well, how's this gonna unfold? This bummer could be a blessing. Anyways, so basically, I've decided not to get a bird. I'm re I've returned everything, like you guys saw. And the last thing is just talking to Claudia and hopefully getting uh, my deposit back. Sorry, everyone, if anyone was invested in me getting this bird. Believe me, I was extremely invested in it as well. Um... So we took a little <laughs> we took a little detour, but now we're back. We took a little detour, thought we were getting a bird, but now we're back on beeline and we're not getting a bird, even though we had a little a little detour of potentially getting a bird. I got some comments from people being like, I'm totally invested in this bird. Believe me, I was very excited about it as well, but it just wasn't meant to be. It's not meant to be, it's not happening. So Maybe it's time to try to call Claudia again.
All right guys, so basically that was the conversation. My battery died towards the end, so it cut off, but I think pretty much the whole, almost the whole conversation was recorded. Um, I actually didn't get a chance to tell her the other bad experiences that I had with the employee. Basically one was on the phone and the other was when I came in to see um, you know, how far along they were on the list. I didn't really explain about those two interactions, but it was like three separate, just unfavorable experiences with that one employee. Um, so anyways, I'm curious what you guys think, if you guys listened through that whole phone call that I had with her. Um, maybe I should just, you know, take the store credit um i can always you guys asked how much it was it was pretty expensive it was like 300 and almost 330 dollars um which is quite a bit of money you know so if i'm unable to get the refund i can apply it to a store credit and they don't have that many cat things but they have some and eventually it'll all get used if like I just gift it to my mom and Hadley for the cats here because we do have three cats. I mean, they're their cats, but Callie's like my cat. She chose me. <laughs> she was just snuggling with me. So maybe I should just do that and not push the refund because I did agree that you know it was a non-refundable refund but i did have a real negative experience with um like three and honestly i wouldn't want to go in there and see that guy like it would make me feel uncomfortable especially after having shared with her you know m how bad my experience was and i'm gonna go see him like i don't like it i really don't like it but at the same time, I don't know. I'm curious, you guys, get a lot of you guys gave me an opinion to get my refund back, like try, push for it. And now that you've heard the conversation, um, what do you guys think? So anyways, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching, thanks for joining me. Um, let me know what you think, all right? And I'll see you in the next video.